Your 4th of July celebrations with some fun and healthy Star Spangled Desserts. Whitney Hemmer, registered dietitian with Fairway, joins us today in the Hello Iowa kitchen to share some of her favorite recipes. Hello, Whitney. Thanks for being yes, here. Yes, you're welcome. This looks so fun and festive, not just the napkins, but all the yes. desserts, red, white, and blue. I went all red, white, and blue today, and typically when you see a red, white, and blue dessert, I usually see it in the form of a cake. Oh, yes. But when it comes to something like if you're, if you're hosting a party and you want desserts, I think individual servings are really the way to go so people can take them as they want them, you know, and then they're already portioned out. It actually makes the cleanup really easy. Oh, yeah. So I have three different options, all red, white, and blue. They're kind of the same but different. You know, they're really similar but just slightly different. So you could make a combination of these three or just pick which one you think sounds the best. Oh, that's great. So people can really take their pick, what they yes. like the best. You can have cute little labels out there yes. and all that. So my first one in front of me is definitely the easiest. Um, and when you make these, a couple things. You can use a glass cup. This is a stemless wine glass. Okay. So if you trust your guests <laughs> and you want a little bit bigger of a serving, you can use a glass or even a mason jar. Okay. If you have more guests, kids, you don't trust your guests. You want to throw it away you when you're done. You want to throw it away. <laughs> These solo little cups work the best. I like this one specifically because it has that wider mouth. So oh, when yeah. you're actually assembling your desserts, it's something you probably don't think about, but it actually makes it a lot easier with this wide, yeah. wide mouth here. And again, you can make them ahead of time, toss them when you're done, it's perfect. And great smaller portions, Smaller right? portions, okay. yes. So my first one uses strawberries, blueberries, and then either angel food cake or little uh, pound cake. Oh. And I found these pre-made ones. You could also use like a shortbread here too, kind of whatever you want to do. I obviously did not make my own. I had to make my own angel food cake once in college, and you will <laughs> not catch me doing it again. So It's so easy when the store makes it. I know. So... <laughs> I went pre-made, really any pre-made white cake here, just because okay. you want that white layer. My tip here is when you're cutting the cake, you want to make sure you're using a serrated knife. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the one that has like the ridges on there. Cause then the knife really does the work for you with the cake. If you've yeah. ever cut down into one and like the whole cake smashes, you're probably not using the right knife. Yes. So Good use advice. that serrated knife there and then just layer it what red, white, and blue. And on top of my cake, I do add some whipped cream to add a little bit of moisture and kind of hold it all together. And then as many layers, as many or few layers as you want to add here, um, this one looks like my child did it, even though <laughs> even though they cute. didn't. It's still going to taste good, I promise. And I love um, you can add extra fruit too. Yes. So you really get that that nutrition punch in your dessert. Yes, as well. and obviously I used cake and whipped cream here. And in any of these, you really could use yogurt too if you want more even a breakfast option mm. or a healthier option. Middle is my favorite. Um, it has that sweet, salty with that pretzel layer on the oh, bottom. Wow. The white layer I went with here is whipped cream mixed with a whipped cream cheese. It's oh. a little bit thicker with, again, just kind of that salty feel. And then again, the strawberries and blueberries for the, the red, white, and blue. This one can be made in advance a couple days. So if you're looking to do some prep work early, this would be your best bet okay. to make, make ahead of time. Okay. Uh, what about this one? This one's really interesting. Yes, this one has some interesting flavors in there if you're looking for something a little bit different. The white base on this one is, the base of it is ricotta cheese mixed okay. with a couple other things, um, sugar, vanilla. And then we have strawberries, blueberries. I made a balsamic glaze. And then basil, which is more of a savory herb. Usually you'd think of mint in a dessert. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of a classy, a little bit different twist if you're looking for something easy um, to make because you can really only layer this so many times with that ricotta layer. But it adds a really nice, um, you know, comp a lot of different flavors here if you're looking for something a little bit different than your just typical sweet dessert. Yes, this is really interesting. So really something for everyone. Yes. You have the sweet, salty, savory, yes. got it all. Yep. Whitney, thank you so much for sharing these delicious recipes from Fairway. We really appreciate it. Happy 4th of July. Yes, thank you. And Fairway is one of the proud sponsors of the Hunting with Heroes Salute to Veterans race. For the first year ever, Boone Speedway will host a Salute to Veterans race on Saturday, July 31st. Between all three races in the series, veterans will be provided more than $75,000 in food, gifts, and prizes. More information is available on the Hunting with Heroes Facebook page. Make sure you check it out.